Eddie Pinheiro about set to get us going, and we are underway here in Charlotte. And we will not get a run back here to start. It's a touchback, and it will come out to the 25. So here comes the Raiders offense now onto the field. And they will be led out by their rookie quarterback. His ability to adjust on the fly is almost unmatched in the game right now because it leads to a couple of snaps per game where you just sit back and ask yourself, how did he pull that off? Opponents can practice and prepare each and every week all they want, but this guy, he is hard to corral. They go play action here on first down. Blitz coming and down he goes. Kamu Kruje Hill getting in there and taking him down. Okay, partner, a couple points of interest right here, all right? Offensively, we see that they came out throwing the football, but maybe more importantly, the blitz that came defensively. They... Over the middle, and there's a diving catch. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Now, now, back, the big play has them all the way out near midfield for a first and 10. Forced out to his left. That's caught. It's DeAndre Carter. And he's got this down to the 35. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. But we know that he can get first downs with his arm and his legs, Charles. And there, when he gets outside of the pocket, the defense has to account for both, and he's able to complete it for the first. And he's very comfortable outside of the pocket. Some quarterbacks, that's not their thing. For him, that seems to be the number one asset to his game. Gets out into the open field, things seem to break down the secondary a little bit, and he picks out the right target. That one caught by Carter. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. Better than a 30-yard gain as we wind down towards 30 seconds left in the quarter. All right, Charles, let me put you in the head of one of those defenders out there. You have a big play like that go against you so early. What Does that shake your confidence? It shouldn't, but it often does because your thought process all during the week is how you're going to get after that offense and make your plays. And when they make one against you, Makes you a little bit hesitant. Time to regroup. And a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. They well, certainly did a nice job Let's improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. Back to throw again. Flushed out right. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. Taking it in from two yards. Out. And the Raiders get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. That's a really good decision. Out of the pocket. You've got to know the right time to shift from passer to runner. He was looking and looking. Nothing there. You can almost feel the brainwaves firing as he calculates. I think I can win a race to the pylon. And he turns out to be right. Touchdown. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. Yeah, some might have returned that one. He won't. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start the drive from the 25. So here are the Panthers now for their opening drive. Bringing them out is the number one overall pick this year, Heisman Trophy winner at Alabama, Bryce Young. We're seeing it more and more in this league, how teams love to have athletes back there taking the snaps, guys who can throw it and move oh, around and get yards with their legs if needed. He's one of the best examples that we see out there right now. He can throw for hundreds of yards one week and then run for 100 plus the next. He adds an extra dimension that really confounds defenses when he puts it all together. That throw by Young incomplete. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. Miles Sanders first carry of the game. And he'll be taken down here as it will take us to the end of the first quarter. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Second quarter now from Charlotte, and it's the Panthers with the football as they've got it with a third down coming up.
Third and short yardage. Young eluding the pressure right. Breaks through the contact. And he is going to have the Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Brandon, you know more about quarterbacks protecting himself by acting in it. I like what I just saw there. That rookie wasn't afraid of absorbing a big hit. Now, you don't want to see him taking those shots all game long. But he picked up the first down, kept fighting for yards, and was willing to embrace some contact to keep the play moving. Now a first down throw for Young. And a throw here right sideline falls incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well and that one's incomplete. And Young's throw there incomplete. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they didn't completions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Now Young. Flush to his right. Well, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. One first down here, and that... Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. So on fourth down, here's Johnny Hecker to punt it away. DeAndre Carter back deep. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. The Raider offense going to head out now late in this first half. And with a little under a minute to go, still time to try to put a drive together to add to their lead, should they so choose. Here we go, Jack. Throwing to start the drive. Hawk able to shake him off. Escaping the pressure right. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free at its second down. But that was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, Defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them, and I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. Catch is made by Hunter Renfro. Ooh, with a juke. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and ten. Back to throw. Hawk dancing to his left. Mayer there to bring it in. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Add this game to the last one, and they move the ball over 50 yards in two plays. That's caught by Myers. Now the Raiders are going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Flushed out right. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Well, no surprise there. He was looking for one of his favorite targets again as soon as he left the pocket. But the coverage was good downfield. They got right to the receiver and helped prevent that completion. Again, he'll drop to throw. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. Well, Brandon, we see why it's a team game there because there's a side relief that they just released defensively. If he's able to get that one away, that's likely a touchdown. But in 
instead. That Touchdown! Hunter Renfro as the first half is winding down. And the Raiders will extend their lead here just before halftime. Another impressive drive. So they're two for two, two touchdowns. Charles, a great start to this ball game for them. And one of the words that's really worked its way into our lexicon is stacking. They've stacked momentum each time out, not only on offense. Between those touchdowns, defense held, forced to punt to get the ball back, and they've played awfully well in this one. Both sides playing at optimum level. Heck. And up and good. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kicks away. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. And he takes it all the way across the 40 before going out of bounds. Any return that gets you to midfield is a great return. One first down, and you're almost in field goal position. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. Final play of the half, Young. Let's it fly for Thielen. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. So we come upon halftime with our score 14 to nothing as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman and our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, back to you guys in just a moment, but welcome everyone to our Creative Village Studios in the EA Sports Halftime Report. The highlights are fairly one-sided to this point. It's a two touchdown difference here at the break, but I wouldn't call this one over just yet. I think there could still be some fireworks yet to come. Each team making their final preparations for this second half. We're about ready too, as we'll send you back up to Charlotte and rejoin Brandon and Charles at Bank of America Stadium. All right, coach, thanks very much. Fine work as always, as we welcome you back for quarter number three. A two touchdown game, 14 nothing to score as we get rolling again here in this second half. Now Raheem Blackshear gonna take this one out. And he'll wind up getting a couple extra yards here for his trouble to bringing it out of the end zone as he's down at the 27. Out come the Panthers, they'll have it first on offense in the third quarter. Charles, it'll be interesting Ready. to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. Find time to his left. Now the defense loses him. It's complete. Runs over him. A big play there for Carolina. 34 yards. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone. They'll be hit and taken down at the 21. John Jenkins, the defensive tackle, getting in there for a loss of five. I know there'll be a little bit of criticism there because they went right back to the air after the huge pickup and ended up getting sacked. That's often a play that you make. You feel like you've got momentum on your side. Unfortunately, the old line failed to hold up to try to keep that momentum going. Call it no gain there, and it brings forth a third and long. They need a crafty play call here. 14 yards is what they need to try to convert this thing. He's got his target. That's complete. Touchdown, Panthers. Adam Thielen from 21 yards away. And the Panthers are able to get a score back in the final stages of this third quarter. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there was an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard, you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, 
yet relaxed enough to get it done. Eddie Pinheiro now for the extra point. And that one makes it 14 to 7. That time a six play drive. Now a timeout called for by the offense. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. From his end zone, here comes Carter. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Las Vegas offense ready to start this next drive. And maybe some renewed pressure on this unit following the touchdown a moment ago. It's back to a one-score game. And because of that pressure, because it's now a one-score game, they know this is where you need to slow the momentum change because otherwise that could overrun your team. You've got to be careful right here. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. We have played three quarters. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. And we're back now in Charlotte. It's the Raiders with the lead and the football here as we get ready to start quarter number four. Get ready. Now a play fake here on first down. He'll get that one to Carter complete. Oh, he faked it with a juke. Now he's got some room. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Going right side is White. He's down inside the 10 to the 8. And it comes on a gain of 8. Now the Panthers going to signal for their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And he's going to have a Raider first down. And that should be the one that finishes the script here. I'm assuming they're keeping this football on the ground, right? I would think so, because you're looking at the clock. That's in your favor. You look at the geography of the field, right, where you are. That's in your favor as well. Keep it on the ground. Keep on, pounding. Run that clock down. You got everything working in your direction. Here's White. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. Zamir White, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Raiders have opened up a two-touchdown lead here in this fourth quarter. They'll look to throw, being chased out left. And he is into the end zone to bump the lead up two more. Successful two-point try, the QB rolling out, I would imagine... On the defense, that makes it tough. When you, he goes out, he's got the option to run or pass. Yeah, it really does. If you decide not to bring extra people or extra pressure, maybe you have to have a spy on the quarterback, someone to account for him, because oftentimes, that is the unaccounted for player. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. So now Young and the Panthers down by 15. A minute 11 to go. It's been a struggle to score all day, and now they need to do it twice here late to have a chance. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. Well, my dad would say sometimes, I'm just scratching my head here trying to figure out what's going on there defensively. How did you lose him in the middle of the field? If you're going to lose a receiver, make sure it's somewhere on the short side. And down he goes, brought down. Sack. Here we go. They'll Here we come go. up now. 
Second and nine. One last shot for Young. Eluding the pressure right. And Shark holds it in. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders 28. So this one a victory for the Las Vegas Raiders. And you look back over the score sheet, interesting. A very clean game, no turnovers by either side. An absolute rarity when we watch games now because defenses have put such an emphasis on taking the ball away. Well, what we saw here was offenses spending their time saying, look, you know they're coming for it. Ball security is paramount. So they worked on that, not just the week.